Good morning from the Wisconsin Heights School District. Jordan Sins here talking about some of our updates to the parking lot and traffic flow here at our new combined campus. I'm joined by Bev Whalen, my trusty camera woman. As we look to the left here or to the east uh, off the driveway from Highway 14, you can see that an additional lane has been added to the driveway. That lane is to allow for stacking of cars in the afternoon, uh, primarily when we have parents that come to pick up their children. Uh, from the elementary school most likely. Uh, so that stacking lane is actually an additional lane to allow cars to line up as they're waiting for their children. Bev's now panning towards uh, some additional parking space or blacktop space directly in front of the elementary school. Uh, you can see that there's a full turnaround. That turnaround actually provides space for two vehicles or is two vehicles wide. Cars will stack closest to the sidewalk. That way children can just get in and out directly off the sidewalk and do not have to pass traffic. The inside lane of this turnaround is intended to be a lane that's only used for vehicles that have already picked up their children so they can exit and turn around. Also in the turnaround directly in front of the elementary school, we have six visitor stalls which are designated for short-term parking. If you need to stop in to pick up or drop off something in the office, uh, that would be short-term parking that you can use. And then there's also two handicap lanes in that area, uh, or handicap stalls, excuse me, in that area that can be used as well. So the turnaround really will be one lane of cars closest to the curb for stacking at drop off and pick up times. And then as I said, that inside lane on each side, so vehicles can pull out slowly to the left and exit past vehicles that are parked by the curb to pick up or drop off children. As we look back to the east again, we are now looking at a parking lot uh, that has been designated for elementary staff. Uh, so within this parking lot, we have approximately 75 to 80 stalls. And then also in the parking lot, there are 14 stalls that have paint on them that is designated for visitors. So those stalls could be used for people who are visiting either the elementary school or the middle school, high school office. And as I said, there's about 14 to 15 visitor stalls there. And then there's additional handicap parking stalls there as well. So Mr. Moore, our wonderful elementary school principal, is now driving down the stack lane. The stacking lane is purpose is for the afternoon if we have a lot of cars here to pick up their children from the elementary school. So that third lane in the driveway will allow cars to stack. Between the stacking lane and the turnaround in front of the elementary school, we have room for approximately 35 vehicles to be stacked at one time. You'll notice he's driving very slowly and very safely to ensure the safety of our children and staff. As he enters the turnaround area, cars should stick furthest to the right or the outside towards the sidewalk. As Mr. Moore approaches the entryway to the elementary school, he's going to demonstrate drop off. When we are dropping off our children in the morning, you can simply pull up right in front of the building, drop off your child, and then exit out of the circle. As you exit the circle, you can either go back out onto the driveway to Highway 14, or you continue on through the parking lot and you can exit onto Olson Road. At all times in the parking lot, please drive slowly and look for children. Mr. Moore continues to move around the outside of the turnaround at the elementary school area. As he comes to the end of the turnaround area, he is going to demonstrate how the first car who arrives in the afternoon should stack. We have a sidewalk or a peninsula of sorts where the stacking lane will start. Mr. Moore has now gotten to the end of the stacking lane. So for pickup purposes in the afternoon, the first vehicle that arrives should stack right here. Children will come off of the sidewalk or will be walked across the circle drive with a staff member and should enter and exit their vehicle from the sidewalk side. Once children are in the vehicle, if there's vehicles stacked behind, those vehicles can move to the left and exit out of the circle. Once again, we want to be slow at all times. We want to look for other students and staff and families. Please remember in the morning, it's important that we just come and drop our students off, not park our cars in front of the building to avoid congestion. And in the afternoon, as I said, there's room for about 35 cars to stack. We should not have to get out of our vehicles in the afternoon. Our staff members will be looking for vehicles and parents and will help the students get into vehicles at pickup time. Mr. 
Moore is now demonstrating if a vehicle enters the parking lot from Olson Road. Whether it's in the morning or the afternoon, based on the arrows in our parking lot, vehicles will be on the outside of the parking lot. Mr. Moore is following the arrows into our parking lot. And once again, this is like a maneuver of coming off of Olson Road. As he enters into the elementary staff parking lot, he continues to follow the arrows towards the elementary school entrance. As he makes his way to the end of the elementary school entrance, he will encounter the cars that have come off of Highway 14 and have stacked. If you see the maroon van right in front of Mr. Moore's car, that will be the point where vehicles coming off of Olson Road interact with the vehicles coming off of Highway 14. It will be crucial that parents who are dropping off or picking up acknowledge each other and allow vehicles that enter off of Olson Road to merge into the stack or to merge into the circle to drop off their children. Together we can ensure that our mornings and afternoons are safe at the Wisconsin Heights Elementary School and the Middle School High School. We're now standing in the east parking lot with Highway 14 right off to the side here. And this first section of parking here over on the east side of the building is designated for district office and middle school staff members. So we have these stalls and we have signs on the light poles that designate that this area of the parking lot is reserved for district office and middle school staff members. So we're now standing outside of the high school student entrance and we're about halfway into that east parking lot and now behind me you can see that on this light pole and then down to the south this is signed for student parking so any of our students that receive student parking passes for the year this is a section of the lot that they'll be parking in and as Bev stands down to the south you'll also notice that we added approximately 50 parking stalls there which would be the southeast corner of our parking lot and that parking area is also for students. So any students that get parking tags should be parking in this area during the school year. We're now standing on the south side of the building. So Bev's gonna pan a little bit here. You can see the end of the high school building. So we're in the south parking lot. The south parking lot is signed for high school staff members. We also added about 26 parking stalls here. So with the construction this summer, We've added a total of 75 parking stalls to our single campus. And then in addition to high school staff parking in this south lot, we still have ample parking for visitors to the Wolf Run Trail. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch our video. Just know that our staff is gonna have an increased presence during drop off and pick up times. A reminder for drop off, please just pull up to the door and drop off your child. Uh, if we can keep traffic moving, that'll make it safer for everyone. And then for pickup, remember some of the key points of our stacking lane and about how the children should enter and exit your vehicle off the sidewalk side. We will have a lot of staff out helping. And then also just thank you so much for your support for the school. We look forward to a great 22-23 school year. And if you have any questions, please talk to your child's principal or myself. Go Vanguards.